I applaud the Latino Institute for finally having the courage and the commitment to document Latino contributions to this state, this nation, and this world. It is high time that we considered the American media, American history books, textbooks do not include us, even though there would be no United States of America without the contributions of Latino, who have fought in every war. As a matter of fact, Latinos as a group have won more, been awarded more Congressional Medals of Honor than any ethnic group. There will be no United States without contribution of Latino. I'm Miguel Perez, and I'm a professor, journalism professor at Lehman College in the Bronx. I'm former chairman of the department. I'm also a journalist, I'm a syndicated columnist, and every so often I do political commentaries on television. And I've been all over the country documenting the history of Hispanics in this country, a history that is ignored by our American history books, okay? That's what I've been doing. You, this country gives you the impression that it all began with the pilgrims. And there's a hundred years of Hispanic history before them that is not documented or well documented, certainly not taught to our, to our children. And that's what I am all about right now, my history project. When I got the email telling me that I had been nominated, the first, thing, and the word illustrious came up. You know, the, the name of the award is illustrious. And my mother used to tell me, yo quiero que tú seas un, un hombre ilustre. Y esa era la palabra que siempre usaba. I want you to be an illustrious man, me and my brother. And believe me, I thought of my mother the first thing when I got that email, and I will be thinking of my mother at the ceremony. Well, I want to dedicate the award to my mother because I think that I am just like my mom. And uh, everything I am, who I am, and, and what I have accomplished is because of my mother. And I've only wished she was here to hear me or see it because now she's in heaven, probably watching over us. Um, so I thank my mother and I love her very much. Mi logro más significativo en la radio y televisión. My biggest accomplishment has been to be in radio and television for 40 years, educating, entertaining, reporting, and doing all you do in communication. That has been my biggest accomplishment. Para mí ese es mi logro mayor. Well, I'm Dr. Marcos Charles, uh, a physician. I am a retired clinical professor at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine or Yeshiva University. My major accomplishments really, the number one was to be elected president of the prestigious and important Bronx County Medical Society. It means all the doctors from the Bronx, the Bronx County in, in New York. And the second one was to be a co-founder of Ostos Community College. And the third one was to be the founder and president of the Dominican American Medical Society in the United States. When the institute notified me I was uh, uh, of this nomination, I was in shock because I know the institute and it's a very prestigious institution that really fights for the rights and the recognition of Latin people like me. For me, it was a great honor after being in the United States for 53 years to be approached by an institution like uh, the Institute of Latin American Studies uh, regarding this very important award. The most significant accomplishment was being the first Latina um, individual elected official 
in the field of the freeholder board. Uh, in 200 years, there had never been a Latino in that position, and I was selected for the first time. And I opened the doors. Now there's another Latino in that seat. Um, so I think that's the major accomplishment because we broke through those walls on the county level. We had council people already, we had mayor, but not a freeholder. And I broke that barrier, and I'm very uh, proud of that. It's a lot of work, and I did it because I had a lot of support from everyone, not only the Latino community. I have support from all communities. And I think that's the most significant because it was something that was done that it can continue for many years to come. A la parte que he logrado insertarme en la comunidad, dándole un servicio. I have succeeded providing accounting and tax services, and I have earned the respect and trust of my clients. I serve the Dominican community doing the accounting and offering financial advice to small businesses. I serve approximately 3,500 clients per year. I have provided professional services to over 50,000 during my career. My biggest accomplishments have been to serve with honesty in public administration for four years, to be controller of the presidency, to be controller of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and to be Consul General in Haiti. I am proud to be in the United States. I have three children, all serving in the U.S. military. Two are veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan. I am proud to have been nominated for this award and I would like to thank the Institute and the Board for this honor. I think my major accomplishment in life has been to be a professor, a teacher, into very, to 31 years, to affect young people, to change, uh, to learn, to explore. And that is, uh, is a feeling of doing something that transform individuals in their head, in their mind, in their way of thinking. So that's my major, I would say, my major professional achievement uh, in life. <laughs> the Latino Institute has been a, I know it from its inception. I, I, it is part of my um, proud pieces. I, I am very proud of the Latino Institute. Among institutions of Latinos that last very short time, very short lived, the Latino has been constant and I praised uh, the, 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 the Institute and her president, Maria uh, Teresa Pontilla, for this effort. I think it's, it's a great thing to recognize um, your, your people. And I think the Latino Institute has not only done things from the perspective of collecting data and doing proposals and doing um, position papers, but uh, it's an arm of the, of the struggle of the Latino community in this state and beyond. I am Richard Rivera, and I am a co-founder of the National Coalition of Latino Officers. I'm, I'm very thankful and humbled by this recognition by the Institute and its board, and bringing community together with law enforcement. And I've been doing that for decades, and no time in our history in America has it been more important to focus on that than currently. So when a police department resists changes and we bring about the change and they don't know about it, that's a success and that's an accomplishment. Uh, and those are the ones that I take the most pride in because oftentimes there's a lot of resistance in this work. And oftentimes you don't get what you're trying to accomplish. But when it does come through, it's nice to know that it happened. El privilegio de ir a través del mundo haciendo misiones, trabajando en la comunidad y trabajando también a, a, a... It has been my privilege to go around the world in missions, working in communities and helping in disaster areas in Asia, Africa, Central and South America, the Caribbean and Mexico. I have done this kind of work all my life. My purpose has been to bring change at the local level in people's lives and communities. 
All of this makes me feel that I'm making a big difference. I would like to thank the Latino Studies Institute and its board of directors for taking this initiative to make sure that we are recognized as what we are. As Latinos, we are loving, hard-working people who have made a great contribution to the American society. My name is Jaime Lucero. I'm from Mexico. I'm the fourth of seven children. I came to New York 40 years ago in 1975 and have remained here since then. Thirty-two years ago, I started a company called Gold and Silver Incorporated in Harrison, New Jersey. It's a clearing house and distribution center for women's clothing. El principio es como muchos de los uh, nuestros que llega a un restaurante a lavar platos. Yo trabajé en ese restaurante. Por My beginnings tiempo. were similar to all of our people's beginnings. I was a dishwasher at a restaurant for six years. I never quit that job. I moved up, holding different positions during my tenure. One day, I asked myself, if that was what I wanted to do after leaving everything in Mexico to come to this great country. Uh, that thought motivated me to buy the restaurant's used truck and go out there and explore other opportunities in the region. Then I started my company, which today employs more than 250 individuals. In Mexico, we employees in 2001. We have created jobs in Mexico, 4,000 jobs in 2001. I have had and created many opportunities while developing and growing my company. My goal has always been to succeed. I think my biggest accomplishment has been the sense of belonging to the immigrant community and to be united and supportive of immigrants. For some reason, the Lord has decided to make me part of our immigrant community so that we all help each other and share what we have with each other. This is why in my company we are dedicated to helping the community, supporting projects and initiatives that help us move forward as a group. Definitely, I do want to uh, thank the Latino Studies Institute and the leadership of the Institute uh, for this honor. The Institute for Latino Studies' main job and most important job is uncovering the roots of our success in people, in achievements, that have gone unnoticed, not recently, but for centuries. And when you come to this gathering and you, and you start meeting people that you knew years ago and they're still doing great, it's almost a reunion of pioneers, people who began the effort. But if you don't exist, if it's not documented, they will be forgotten along with, with, with those who, unfortunately for, for, for us, their history wasn't told. And even though they made great accomplishments in our community, the generation today doesn't know who they are. And so what you're doing is capturing a historical record of who we are as a people 
and why we need to share it, among others, so that, so that what I went through as a kid doesn't happen to the next generation. Originally, I needed to know who I was. I mean, I was growing up, I wasn't very proud of who I was, you know. I, 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 and, and that means from the first grade, I, 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 I did what, what Perry Thomas did. I, I put white powder on my face thinking that the white powder would, would give me the answers the teacher was asking me. So uh, one day they called my parents and he says, why is he wearing uh, all, all this powder on his face? And my parents were all upset. And they asked me, what are you doing? I said, porque yo quiero saber lo que está diciendo ella y contestar la correcta la pregunta. And, 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 my father said, and my father thought about it and he says, muy bien. <laughs> he understood that it wasn't, I felt like, like because I, I wasn't the same color as all those of my class, that I couldn't answer the question. And because, because of the color of my skin. So one of my goals was to find find people like myself who are going through that. And, 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 and lucky uh, at Rutgers University, uh, I had through the Puerto Rican studies, I was able to find people and that, that wonderful book that Perry Thomas wrote down these mean streets. And that set the foundation of, of my writing, of my theater plays, of, of, the, of self-discoveries of, of who we are as a people. Dr. Gloria Bonilla Santiago, the Board of Governors Distinguished Professor of Service at Rutgers University, Rutgers Camden Campus. I have many accomplishments, many awards, wrote four or five books, but the accomplishment that I'm most proud of is the school for the children. To be able to save lives, to be able to send poor kids from Camden, New Jersey, to Princeton, to University of Pennsylvania, to Rutgers, to Cornell, to be able to send them to college and have them graduate and do well, there's nothing more rewarding than to save in children and, and see families get jobs and prosper and then see communities get better and be able to transform a whole neighborhood along with those children. That to me is probably the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I believe that an award like this um, is important. It's important to reward people that we celebrate where we come from and who we are, but most importantly, we're humble people. You know, we don't like to put our work sometimes because of our culture, but I think it's so critical that we that we um, are part of an agenda for this global citizenship. The, the global world is changing and we are providing solutions. We're part of this new century of challenges. And so it's so critical for us to be part of that agenda, this national global agenda to transform the world. And for me, using children and liberating children and educating them and putting them as their number one priority in this planet, that is so critical because they're the future. And without them, we cannot change the world, right? We cannot transform this universe. So it's critical that um, we continue to support the work of the Institute and that you continue to provide awards to people like this great team of people that you're honoring. So thank you so much. My name is Wilda Diaz. I am the mayor of the city of Perth Amboy. Well, I'm currently the only Latina mayor in the state of New Jersey of an urban community and of Puerto Rican descent, most possibly in, in the country. I want to um, thank um, the Institute um, for acknowledging my hard work and thanking them that they are also acknowledging many others that are making an impact in our Latino communities and that we can also work and contribute to the greatness of this nation.